Hi friends, today we are going to solve a transportation problem with the help of Modi method. Now, uh, if you see my previous lecture, uh, video lecture, in which I have solved this same sum with the help of VAM method, Vogel's approximation method. So, when we solve that, we got an initial feasible solution. So, these are the allocation we got with the help of VAM method. Okay, so this is called as the IFS initial feasible solution. Now, how to solve the Modi method? Before solving that Modi method, let me tell you. See, these are the cells which are not allocated any values are called as a unallocated or not allocated cells. But the cells which are this like F1, W4, F2, W1, F2, W2, F3, W2, F3, W3. So these are called as a allocated cell. Okay. So now how to solve the Modi with the help of Modi method. So first we'll see the two formula we are going to use. The first one is a C is equal to U plus B or UI plus BI. Okay. And another formula is delta. Delta is equal to C minus in bracket U plus B. UI plus BI. So these two formula we are going to use to solve the Modi method. Okay. Now this first formula we are using for not allocated cell, allocated cell. And this is formula using for not allocated cell. Okay. So now we come to know about what is allocated, what is not allocated. We start with the this first formula C is equal to UI plus VI. Okay. Now that is the formula for allocated cell. Before that, now we have to calculate the value of UI and VI. So for this row, you call it as a U1, U2, and U3. Okay. And for this column, you call it as a V1, V2, V3, and V4. Okay. Now, whenever you start solving with the help of Modi method, you can suppose that the UI value will be 0. You have to take UI value is 0. Always remember that is not given. We have to take the value of UI or U1 is equal to 0. Is it okay? Now, we will go through the first allocated cell. So, which one is the first allocated cell? F1, W4. I just draw the line here. Now, F1, W4 is the first allocated cell. F1, W4. So, is equal to. So, what is the value of U? So, okay. Now, for that, we are, we are going to calculate. So, C. What is the value of C? C is nothing but the cost. These upper values all are called as the cost. This 42, 32, 50, 26, 34, 36, 28, 46, 64, 54, 36, 82. These are called as the cost. So, F1, W4. F1, W4, sorry, not W2, F1, W4, this is allocated say So, cost is, the formula we are going to use is C is equal to UI plus B. So, cost is 26 is equal to, what is the value of UI, U1 is 0 plus, what is the value of V4, not, not given. So, you write down V4. Now, this plus 0 will come on this side, it will become a minus. So, V4 is equal to 26 minus 0. So, V4 is equal to 26. Is that clear? Very easy. I will repeat. We took this allocated cell. The cost of this allocated cell is 26 is equal to UI. U1 is 0 and V4 is not given. So, V4 is equal to 26 minus 0. V4 is 26. So, I will write down here 26. Is it okay? Now, next. What is next allocated cell? Okay. See, we can take next allocated cell directly, but we don't have a U2 and V1 value. So, better you have to choose the allocated cell in which at least one, one U1 or V1, UI or V1 value is given. At least choose a allocated cell in which at least one value is given, UI or VI. So, this next is F2W4 is having V4 value, so we will go for that. F2 W4. Okay. So, what is the cost? 
46, right? 46 is equal to what is the value of u2 not given u2 is equal to what is the value of v4? v4 is 26. So this plus 26 go on another side. So u2 is equal to 46 minus 26. So u2 is equal to 20. So we'll write down u2 is equal to 20. Is that clear? Now in that row again you can see that which one is allocated, okay, F2, W2. So as I told you, at least one value is required, F2, W2. So what is the cost of F2, W2? 36 is equal to, what is the value of U2? 20 plus, what is the value of V2? Not given. So V2 is equal to 36 minus 20. So it will become a V2 is equal to 16. Is that very easy? Okay. So we need to write down 16 here. Now again in that row one more allocated is there. F2 W1. So we will go for that. F2 W1. Right. So what is the value of cost of F2 W1 is 34. 34 is equal to u2 is 20 plus plus v1 v1 is not given okay so v1 so v1 is equal to 34 minus 20 so v1 is equal to 20 sorry 14 1 4 right now we have this v2 value this is allocated f3 w2 so we will go for that f3 W2, what is the cost of that? F3, W2, 54 is equal to V2, sorry, V2 is given, we have calculated V2, 16, 16, very sorry, so first we have to see U plus V, so U is not given U3, plus 16. So it will go on another side u3 is equal to 54 minus 16. So it will become a 38. So u3 is equal to 38. Now once you have u3, now we take f3 w3. f3 w3. So what is the cost? 36 is equal to 36 is equal to what is u3 38 plus v3 so now this is plus it will go on another side minus so it will become a v3 is equal to 36 minus 38 so v3 is equal to minus 2 what is the value of v3 is minus 2 So this way, with the help of this C is equal to U plus V formula, we are able to calculate the U and V value for, from the allocated cell. Okay. Now please you can note down this. Because of space constraint, I have to rub. So this is the process of calculating the U and V value for with the help of allocated cell. Okay. Now we will rub all these things and we will go further. Is it okay? Now next step is to calculate the next step is to calculate the delta values. Always remember we are calculating delta value for not allocated cell. Okay, unallocated or not allocated. So we start from the first. So F1 W1. Okay, so delta is equal to what is the cost of the F1 W1? 42 minus what is u what is u value 0 plus what is v value 14 so 0 plus 14 14 so 42 minus 14 how much it will be 28 
so delta is 28 next next is f1 w2 okay so the values are I'll just directly put now delta is equal to 32 minus what is the value of u1 0 plus 16 okay so 0 plus 16 16 32 minus 16 16 so plus 16 right next is f1 w3 cost is 50 minus u is 0 plus v3 is minus 2 right so now you tell me 0 plus minus 2 minus 2 so minus minus will become plus so it will become 52 okay now next next allocated is f2 w3 unallocated is f2 w3 cost is 28 minus u value is 20 plus v, v value is minus 2 okay so it will become 28 minus 18 right so it will become a 10 so the delta value is 10 okay i have written on the downside that is okay now next another equation is f3 w1 so you can see that the cost is 64 minus in bracket u value is 38 plus 14 so 38 plus 14 42 52 so 64 minus 52 is 12 so the value is 12 then f3 w4 the cost is 82 minus in bracket u is 38 plus v is 26 so 38 plus 26 so 54 74 82 minus 70 6 44 64 okay 64 right so 80 by mistake i said 72 it's a 64 38 plus 26 is a 64 so 64 82 minus 64 so that's 6 70 12 18 right so now we write all the delta values here this way first delta is 28 second delta is 16 third one is 52 then next is 10 the next one is 12 and the last one is 18 so 18 if you see all the delta values all the delta values are positive it means this solution is itself is a optimum solution okay so when you are not getting any delta value negative it means there is a no need of performing any other uh, next iterations this is the optimum solution and this is the final transportation cost with the help of Modi method and one more thing now we have to check the rim condition how many allocations are there one two three four five six always remember delta are not allocate allocation this whatever value we put it in circle that is the allocation so six are there how many rows are there so you must remember that m plus n minus one are coming so m is number of rows 3 number of column 4 minus 1 is equal to 6 and allocation also 6 so this is this condition satisfied so this is the optimum solution now how to calculate the transportation cost the way we have calculated in uh, uh, van method nwcr method and lcm method the same way we have to calculate the uh, uh, transportation cost i'll write down on the about this because I need this space to calculate the transportation cost. 
sodium condition satisfaction is mn minus 1 so 3 plus 4 minus 1 so it will become a 6 and is equal to allocations 6 so this is satisfied okay now we will calculate the transportation cost so transportation cost was 11 into 26 11 into 26 plus second 6 into 34 plus 3 into 36 plus 4 into 46 plus 7 into 54 plus 12 into 36 okay so all six allocated cells 12 into 36 now we will try to do the calculation of this okay so let me calculate the amount so the amount will be 1592 okay you can do with the help of calc uh, calculator so the transportation amount will be 152 if you go, go through the my uh, band method video lecture in that also we are getting the same value so this is the way of solving the simple Modi method problem soon I'm going to upload few more Modi method problem which are a little bit more difficult or in which we need a degeneracy or in which we need to uh, satisfy the rim condition and all that kind of a different uh, problems under the Modi method we are going to solve okay Thank you for watching my video. Any suggestion, any feedback, you can contact on my WhatsApp number 9987862975. Any feedback you can mention in comment section also. You can subscribe my ch uh, channel. So in future, whatever lectures I upload, you people are able to see those lectures. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video.